Hey, and uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been, well, it hasn't been a year, but it has been a year. So it's been a year since I've left the video up. I have uploaded stuff and deleted it because these are challenging times. And obviously it's, it's a worry to post content and think, oh gosh, is this like A, patronising, B, inappropriate, whatever. And um, yeah, it's been it's been a challenge to keep things up and have the confidence to to like post stuff in, in general. So um, I just wanted to try and make a video that I'm going to leave up just to sort of say, you know, uh, still here, still alive, still the same person. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have anything exciting to update my channel with because obviously living in la vida lockdown i think everybody everybody's in lockdown so yeah but so much has happened since the viking festival which was exactly a year ago today so so much has happened both personally and professionally um personally uh house renovations are still massively ongoing um We've been in the house over 11 years, but we bought the house when we were in our 20s. Um, we didn't have a lot of money. All the money was like mortgage and car. Now, uh, we've done substantial things to the property. So uh, like replacing the radiators, um, completely had the kitchen and hall ripped out and redone. Had the, I won't say conservatory because it wasn't a conservatory, the, the lean to on the back of the house is removed and we've had a proper conservatory put on the back of it we're having the fencing redone in the next couple of weeks and garage doors done and all that stuff so you know grown up shit um this room was pink and you can see it's now a beautiful shade of olive i was so sick of the pink it was just doing my nut i've introduced a lot more color and florals and prints into my life and the pink was just overkill so i needed something a bit more muted also because i've been working from home I wanted something a bit more muted in my background so the kids I teach don't have to look at my hot pink walls anymore. Uh, speaking of muting stuff, um, my hair is no longer black. It's really not showing up on this phone camera with this really cheap Amazon ring light. If I <laughs> change the contrast of the light maybe, oh yikes she's under the sea. Um, it is bright red, my hair is like yeah bright red. Um, Felt like it was time for a change. My hair looks super greasy, but I promise you it isn't. Um, eesh. I felt like it was definitely time for a change hair-wise. Um, I grew it really long. It was like here and had that chopped off to about here. It's grown obviously because we're back in lockdown. And look at my undercut. Hello, where is she? Uh, my undercut is gone. Oh, well, it hasn't gone. I'm growing the feckin' thing out. It's like we are tuft central over here. This is about two inches of just pure tuft, and we're coping by just like wearing our hair in a half up, half down situation and just tucking it back. And you can't really tell. You can tell if I've got a ponytail and I move my head to the side, you can still see like the line of demarcation. But um, when lockdown comes to a a natural end I think what I'm going to do is go and have my hair cut to about my chin and then hopefully the the bits of my undercut at the, at the back will sort of match in with that and we can naturally grow that out and it isn't that I don't love an undercut it's just that my professional life has completely changed and I just need to look a little bit different at work as well so everything is naturally progressing with age haha <laughs> so i'm no longer 26 so i'm having to think about the future and things like that so my professional life has changed completely in this last year as well so uh if you don't know what i do for a living i work in the education sector and i have been head of re for i want to say seven years six seven years and before that i was head of citizenship and pshe and re but I'm no longer just the head of RE. I'm now also something called a professional tutor. So I look after all the trainees and new staff and newly qualified teachers at my school. I'm also in charge of, ironically, something called the Christian ethos at my school. So I work in a faith school and um, 
that is my remit because my degree is religious studies and that's just part of my role and I think it's good to have an outsider. I'm, I'm not a Christian, but I think it's a really good thing to have an outsider do that sort of remit because um, the majority of our children are not Christian either. So uh, the way it's presented to children is in an accessible way and in a non... Um, I'm trying to look for the right words, really. Um, that we're not indoctrinating the children, but we're just giving them access to things like mindfulness and worship and things like that. And I think that's really important. So my role has changed completely at work. I, I still have the role that I was doing before, but now I have like additional roles on top. So trying to be more professional, look more professional, be more professional. And um, it doesn't mean that I've changed. My music taste is still the same. I'm still a giant goth inside, but um, I have to marry that up with the fact that I need to earn a living and I actually am really passionate about my job and that comes before my outside appearance and that's not selling out that's actually um I think opting in because it's it's a huge part of what I believe so still love my music still I mean like I'm wearing like funky jewelry you can still sort of see my tattoos and stuff I went to a meeting like this today so that's still really acceptable but I'm I'm no longer 26 um and I have to earn a living and I'm passionate about something um okay so speaking of tattoos and being alternative during lockdown when there were gaps when we were allowed to go out and get tattooed i got two really big ones um i got my left kneecap tattooed yikes and i was gonna get my right kneecap tattooed as well i got the whole of my right leg sleeved um i already had a star trek piece there and i had that sleeved up around the sides uh, I will show you in a different video. I'm not going to get my legs out on camera, but I did have my kneecap tattoo with the big spider's web and I was meant to have the rest of my kneecap finished and then we went back into lockdown. So that wasn't that wasn't able to be done. But um, I had no problem going into a tattooist because everything's like sanitized. We wore masks, etc. That was fine. That was back in like crikey the summer. It I was wearing shorts. Was it the summer or was it like October half term? I can't remember, but it was pre lockdown stuff um other big life changes so one of my videos is on here is i bought a sports car well i no longer have the sports car um monty the mazda has gone to live with somebody else and i'm not even sad um monty the mazda has gone to live with my brother so my little brother little he's like 33 34 sorry brother um he is a Mazda enthusiast so he has had a couple of Mazda MX-5s he likes Japanese cars he said a couple of Honda Civics as well um his RX-8 needed a buttload of welding do into it and Monty had a bit of welding done last year Monty's to probably needs welding because he's an MX-5 but um essentially I gave my MX-5 to my little brother because I knew that he would a look after him b treasure him and also, it was like, it was a nice thing to do because he needed a new car and he needed a new car. Um, the Fiesta has gone as well. I sold the Fiesta. So I, I, I got rid of Monty and I sold my Fiesta. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, just change everything in your life. Your job, your house, you know, your car. I'm still married to Nick, so, you know, I haven't changed my husband or anything like that. Um. So we bought, uh, I say we, I bought a, um, Nick doesn't drive, he can't stand cars. Uh, we bought a, um, a a new car, well, new to us, it's second hand. Um, it's, uh, I think it was like 18 months old. So it's like a, a premium used type thing. Uh, we bought a Ford Focus. I know, right, that's like the most boring grown up car ever, but my God, it is the nicest car I have ever driven it's not the funnest car like it's boring as fuck to drive oh sorry it's as boring as hell to... it's boring it's boring okay it's really really boring but it is the nicest car i've ever driven it's like ah it's like driving a cloud everything is smooth everything works it's a dream to park it's 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 really economical for the size it's, it's a big car it's a nice car to drive. So yeah, there's that. It's a nice colour. It's like a metallic kind of light blue colour. Really nice. It's got five doors. There's space. Me and Nick are not, you know, knocking shoulders. When I normally when I was driving the Fiesta, we'd like I'd change gear and I'd like spam Nick in the face with my elbow because the Fiesta's really little and you know, I'm not small. I'm like five foot seven and Nick's like 
five foot eleven, so we're not small humans. Um, so spamming him in the face with my elbow every time I change gear, and like you know, in the Mazda MX-5, if I was changing gear, it'd be like <laughs> literally I'm changing gear and I've got my elbow in your face. Um, now it's like I can change gear and we've got armrests and cup holders and we're living the grown-up, boring middle-aged dream, and it's fabulous. And I, I'm not mad at it at all. Um, so there's all my boring updates I, I'm aware that I've spoke for over 10 minutes so I'm, I'm gonna leave it there there is there is loads more but I just wanted to just come on and say like guys I'm alive I'm still here um I have uploaded and deleted because I'm like I, I it's, it's been so difficult and inappropriate to upload things and be happy and cheery and stuff and you know in actual fact I am happy and I am cheery and things are going okay things are going well so I'm trying to be positive I will do more videos. I, I just need to get back into the swing of it. I am on screen all day. I, I'm on screen from 8.30 till five o'clock every day with lessons and meetings and stuff like that. And so there has been no joy in making a video, but I've just turned, it's, it's half past five. I turned my work laptop off 20 minutes ago and I was like, I'm still, I still have energy. I'm still here. I can still, yeah, I can do something. I can make something. And if no one likes it and I get like a thousand thumbs down, I literally don't care. I'm past that at this point. This is not, this isn't monetized. It's just me coming on the internet venting like three quarters of the population that do this. It's just, it's fun. Anyhow, I hope that you are safe. I hope that you're well. And I'm going to stop before I hit the 12 minute mark. Take care of yourselves. Be nice. Stay safe. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below. Mwah.